Language Integrated Query, also known as Linked, refers to a series of technology that incorporate query capabilities right into the C Sharp programming language. Data queries have typically been presented as simple strings with no type checking or IntelliSense Assistant as the program execution. Link gives a connection to the front end and the back end acts as an interface between. If you feel the need to dig deeper into Link script, sit tight as we bring to you all the information that you need right on your screen. If you haven't subscribed for our channel yet, I would request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you don't miss any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure you comment on this video any queries or suggestions. I'll be more than happy to respond to all of them. Now we shall learn regarding link. So link in C sharp is used in order to access data from variety of sources. It might be a data set, SQL servers, including objects, different sources. So also the XMLs. A link is generally used in order to access data which has been like distributed widely. It might be some in data sets that is DBMS, some in SQL servers, some in XML code. So all without link, you cannot create that bridge between the database and the backend, right? The front and back in the database has been very much connected with the help of link. So that is why we use link. It has been abbreviated as language integrated query. Right. So one of the use of link in .NET framework, I can tell you uh, when you try to do some mistakes, like you don't try to do mistakes. Actually, when mistakes happen, when the errors occur, how it will tell you that this is the error which is there and how will that show you the help uh, when you click on help or the different documents you can see. So everything is linked. It is already there in the database. It is linked to the front end and without which the front end back end does not communicate it will intercommunicate between it acts as an interface between the front end back end the action and the reaction right so here you can just see a structure of link what are the different elements that's been connected to the same so here you have different databases link to sql linking it's link is not even link l i n k link it's been abbreviated here as link l i n q but works just like link it will link everything together right it will connect everything together so link to databases link to sql link to entities and link to xml and objects as well it might be a relational database it may be an xml it might be an object anything for the matter and uh, it is having the communication according to the programming language you select whether it is vb whether it is c sharp whether it is any other Java, Python language, anything you are working on the .NET framework, ASP.NET, anything for the matter, each and every integrated query has been linked with the efficient databases. It might be anything, right? It might be a SQL or XML or an object or an anything for the matter. So that's the job of link. Without link, we cannot communicate between, there is a huge gap. It occurs a huge gap between the front end and the back end. So we have to have a link that is language integrated query in order to have a smooth flow of databases between the uh, front end and the back end that uses communication with the computer. So that's about link. Now we are at the last part of this video. We learned regarding the link. What is link? How do we use it? And what is the role of that link and how it helps the platform in order to have a smooth flow how it acts as an interface between the front end and the back end right so then we also learned how does link look the structure of the link was also explained so this is about the summary of this video sneha here signing off thank you if you haven't subscribed for our channel yet i would request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you don't miss any new updates or video releases from great learning if you enjoy this video show us some love and do like this video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues make sure you comment on this video any queries or suggestions i'll be more than happy to respond to all of them